This skill is the bedpan. So I'm gonna wash hands, knock knock. Good morning, my name's Xavier, I'll be your senior for today. Is it okay if I check your name, Ben? Mary Smith, nice to meet you. How would you like to be addressed? Mrs. Smith, is it okay if I help you with the bedpan today? All right, so I'm gonna be back with the supplies. So I'm gonna wash hands, I'm gonna grab my supplies. Now that I'm back in the room, I'm gonna wash my hands again, and I'm gonna close the curtains. I'll adjust the bed to a comfortable position. I'm gonna lower the side rail. I'll put on my first set of gloves. Mrs. Smith, I'm gonna ask you if you can turn to the side. Please cross your arms and then cross your right leg over left leg. On the count of three, we're gonna turn. One, two, three. So they turn to the side. I'm gonna ask them to hold onto the side rail for me. I'm gonna place a chucks alongside their back. And then with the bedpan, I'm gonna put some powder on the rim so that way they don't stick to the bedpan. So I'm gonna have them put this bedpan against the patient. And then on the count of three, we're gonna lay back down. One, two, three. How do you feel? All right, so I'm gonna remove the gloves. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm going to raise the side rails. I'm gonna lower the bed, and I'm also going to raise the head of the bed to a Fowler's or a sitting position. So Mrs. Smith, how do you feel? All right, so I'm gonna give you your call light. I'm gonna give you some tissue. Just press the call light when you're ready, or I'll be back in five minutes. So I'm gonna step out of the room, make sure to wash hands, and then I'm gonna come back when she calls me. I'm going to wash my hands, I'm going to raise the bed to a comfortable position. I'm going to lower the head of the bed. I'm going to lower the side rail. I'll put on my next set of gloves. And we're going to clean the patient's hands. So I have my water, it's 105, I test it. I'll have the patient test it. They say it's fine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the first washcloth. I'm gonna wet it, put some soap, and I'm gonna clean the patient's hands. You can also have the patient clean their own hands as well. So we can rinse, they can clean their hands. This goes in the hamper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and ask them to turn to the side. So if you can please cross your arms and cross your legs. On the count of three, we're gonna turn. One, two, three. And as you turn, just make sure you hold onto the bedpan so it doesn't spill. And then the bedpan itself, you're gonna put it into a cover. So I have the bedpan cover over here. We're gonna place this on a chair that has a chunks. And then I'm gonna use a piece of some tissue paper to clean upwards. This goes into the garbage. And then I have my next washcloth. I'm gonna make a hand mitt. I'm gonna get water soap. I'm gonna clean upwards, one, two, and then rinse, one, two. So it's going upwards like this. So use your index and pinky. So water soap, one, two, and then make sure to rinse, one, two. When you're done, this goes into the hamper. I'm going to pat dry the patient. So I should have a large towel alongside their back to pat dry. I'll remove the chucks. I'm gonna remove my gloves, wash my hands. Mrs. Smith, we're gonna lay back down on the count of three. One, two, three. How do you feel? So I'm gonna raise the side rail. And then I'll also lower the bed. So my next set of gloves will be to clean the bedpan. So the cover, I can throw it away. I'm going to check the bowel movement for any abnormalities so that nothing's wrong with it. I'm gonna dump it into the toilet, rinse it and dry. This goes to their personal belongings. 
And then I'm gonna remove my gloves, wash my hands, and then my last set of gloves will be to clean up. So I'm gonna dump this, rinse and dry. All the personal belongings I'll put away. This goes into their personal belongings. I'm gonna remove the chucks that's on the chair and also the chucks that are on the table. I'll wash my hands. Here's your call light, your phone, tissue, water, and magazines. If there's anything else you need, just let me know and I'll be back. So I'm gonna open up the curtains. I'll wash my hands. Step outside, record, and report. Here are the different types of bedpans. So the first one is a regular bedpan. So the way this one works is the patient is going to sit on this part of the bedpan. You're going to angle it this way. So this is the handle part. And the other type of bedpan is a fracture pan. So the fracture pan is for those who have a hard time sitting on a regular bedpan, like this one. Maybe they just had surgery. So the way you're going to use this one is you're going to angle it this way. The handle's here. And a tip I can give you guys is if you look at the angles, the taller part is always facing the feet. So you can kind of see the angle, taller part always facing the feet. So these are the different types of bedpans.